let me show you this the power of this. Okay, so you just need to watch. Now remember, uh, in here we created a folder here and got two cards, right? So imagine this is April, this is your uh, May uh, sales file. Okay. Now then, come next month, I already prepared a P3D. So P3D3. So I copy this file. I go to the folder and I paste this in. Then all I need to do is I can go to the the file here, right click, and refresh. Just a few seconds, huh? And the slowness could be also due to zoom. Done. Okay. <laughs> Console. Easy, right? Do you have to do anything? You see the promise that I say you can save your one week or three days doing your sales file. So everything is calculated by itself following the power query rules. Now, if you accidentally say, oh, okay, I don't want uh, 3D1 anymore. So I'll go to here. I delete 3D1. I go to the folder, right click, and refresh. Done. Disappear. Because they will console, they will go through the whole steps that we go through in Power Query and remove them. So you can add, you can reduce. What are the two rules that you need to have? Which Sorry? Same worksheet. Same worksheet for all the files. Second one? Uh, okay, lay out everything the same. Yeah, then he just sent me the April files that I cannot use because the April files are layout different. <laughs> So it's the same thing, same layout, same worksheet name. But one more important point. Worksheet name must be the same, yeah. Same format. Same format, yes. Or no, okay. Then you got three criteria. What's the third one then? The folder cannot have other files. Okay? Now, if the moment you trade another file, you will get another. Okay? So this is the power of get data from folder. So if you organize a folder nicely, there's a lower level, just show your file. So you first set up for one month or set up for two months, then subsequently just add and add. But the design is very important. If you want to benefit from this whole thing, right, from get data from folder, you need to design and make sure that you remember the layout. Must be the same. The worksheet name must be the same. Because sometimes it's all the part itself, they change the worksheet name for you. So you make sure you need to change it. Yeah. Okay? And it should come in red. So there's a power. So I was, I was telling some of them during uh, before the training meeting. If you give me the budget file now, if you have a budgeting file now, I got 44 file last time, right? We used to take three, four people, one month to finish the console. With this, only one day. In fact, I take less than one day. Because when I set, set up one file properly, everything can be consoled in less than an hour. So those who have been previous jobs do budgeting before they take six months, right? And usually finance takes six months to console. Reason is because link files. Then lots of check and check and check. And then finance like to do something that I also don't like as a recipient. Finance like to put all the account codes on one of the left hand side and say you budget according to this account code. All right, those are experience for the people. Okay, but with this one, Power Query, you can happily tell them you just list down your data in there and put in the account for You don't need to go to this 100 empty rows because of the accounting 
the count, your charts of the count, they put one down one hundred and zero and fifty. Nobody will do budget for you like that. Okay? So they will, this will be the solution for budgeting. If you want to consult 44 bucks is easy. 100 bucks is no problem. Okay?